Hey guys, what's up? Vero here. So, um, I kind of feel like I'm doing coffee time. I sound weird. I didn't realize why I sounded so weird. I'm pretty much over my cold, but I feel like I'm doing coffee time like Dodger because I have this coffee cup sitting here, except I drink all the tea. But look how cute this is. It's a, it's a mustache mug. And it had tea in it, so I guess technically not coffee time. If you don't know who Dodger is, then you greatly disappoint me. But, um, yeah, the lady D there. So I wanted to make a video kind of, sort of ranting. So it's like tea time rant time. I don't know. But, um, so I made, excuse me, <laughs> hiccups. I made a video in the past kind of talking about LFR and like why is it so bad and why are people so mean and blah blah blah. So I'll put it in an annotation somewhere if you want to go watch it. But I recently started leveling another character. Yes, another one. Don't judge me. But I still have refer a friend for, you know, you have refer a friend for like three months. So I at least wanted to level a couple characters. So I already leveled the warrior and the hunter and then the warrior I took to 90 and then I really wanted to level a monk on lion side since I have one horse side so I've been doing a monk and a rogue and so I've been doing a lot of low level dungeons and it just I thought the LFR community was horrible I don't really want to call them their own community but I thought LFR in itself was really bad low level dungeons are horrible um we were in my boyfriend and I so we were in we were probably like in their early 20s maybe in a dungeon and we get in there and this tank keeps apologizing because he keeps getting lost which I don't you know whatever I don't care and he's like sorry I I just started to learn how to tank so I've been leveling this character and I don't exactly always know where to go and, and myself and even the other people in the dungeon were like that's okay um you know you go this way and we like ran over we're like we go this way and he's like oh okay thank you and he's like man you guys are so much nicer than the last people the last group yelled at me and cussed at me and called me a bunch of names and i'm just like really like first of all low level dungeons are not that serious everybody has this mentality of get in and get out and get your loot and get your experience and get and just leave and they don't care how it's done and it's so frustrating and I feel bad for anyone that is wanting to try out this game and this is the people they're being exposed to like what if someone you know maybe they've been a healer in other games or maybe they haven't and they want to try healing and they're like I'm gonna heal in World of Warcraft because that sounds like fun it's not and they get into a low-level dungeon and before they can even pick up their quest the tank's like halfway down the hallway and they're like no because that is literally how every dungeon was um my monk is a misweaver of course and like the tanks are just they run in and they run around and they want to you know pick up all the mobs and then kill them all and then run to the next room before the first mob's even dead and you're just like what, what i what no and it's so infuriating. Oh, in case you're wondering what this is on my wrist, um, I'm a robot and that's why I have it. It's a Fitbit. Um, helps you keep track of fitness and all that fun stuff. Um, highly recommend it. It's actually quite fun. You have to like tap it a lot when you go to bed telling it you're gonna go to sleep except I always forget to tell it I'm going to sleep or I forget to tell it that I woke up so it looks like I slept like 20 hours anyway random tangent whoa but it's it's just so frustrating the low level dungeons I'm level we just hit 71 or 72 the other day or 70 70 something 71 I think um so we just got out of death knight territory which is <laughs> If you have leveled a character since Wrath of the Lich King, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You get in those dungeons, you, I think it's like 60, or no not 60, it's like 50, 58 when they can get out of the starting area, I think, and start doing dungeons, 58, 59. So that's when you start running into them, and you can tell that they have no idea what they're doing. Like, I've ran into some that, you know, you could tell that maybe they've already had other Death Knights, and they were just leveling another one because they're crazy, and yeah you you can tell but then we had one <clears throat> we were probably level 60 like we were almost out of dk territory 
like the noob DK territory, we were probably like 60, 67 or something like that, I don't know. No, it was because it was before, we would have been like 65, because it would have been before we could get into the wrath dungeons. So we get this dungeon, and the first thing I noticed is this tank has like no health. They have 7,000 and, or no, yeah, they have 7,000 and I had like 8,000, 8, 000, 8 9,000 at this point, so I'm thinking, how do I have more health than the tank? And so I kind of inspect him because my boyfriend made a comment about maybe he's wearing cloth, because sometimes people do that. And I checked, and he wasn't. And, um, I was just kind of like, okay, whatever. And so he pulls the first mob, and everything's fine, he just pulls a couple. And then he pulls, like, the entire room, and it is just tank alive, tank dead. Like, I popped every cooldown in my little monk library that I have at that level, and he just flatline. That's not the sound it makes, but let's pretend it does. And I was just like, okay, maybe, maybe he just pulled too many. And, you know, usually I can handle tanks pulling a lot because I can usually, usually keep them up. <laughs> and, but yeah, I could, mm, nope. And then, so I razzle him and he's like, I, th I think actually that mob like stunned or something. So I think I got stunned. So I was like, okay, I got stunned. So don't pull as many of those if you can. And he's like, okay. So he pulls another group and he just gets flatlined again. And I'm just like, what is wrong with this tank? Like, why, why is he dying so quickly? I, I don't. It's easier to heal the DPS than it is to heal him, and I'm, I'm really confused. So I rest him, and I inspect him again. I look at his gear. I'm like, I mean, he has all of the Death Knight gear, which, by the way, is really stupid because there's like agility and stuff on it. But you know, that aside, and then I notice his spec. He's Frost, which used to be the tanking spec, but no more. And then I look at his talents too. He didn't choose a talent. None of all of his talents are just blank. So it's frost and then blank. And I was just like, oh, that would probably be why you're you're getting flatline. And then our DPS in the group goes, you have red sickness. So not only was he not a tank, he had red sickness, which is why he had no health. And so, I mean, I would have been fine with still healing him as long as he pulled smaller packs, but um. Apparently nobody else did, because they went to vote kick him, and then before he even went through, the guy left. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for him, but I mean, that's kind of... And then you also have, you know, and that was kind of a tangent rant thing, but you also have people in low-level dungeons that are just, like, the DPS that are constantly pulling for the tank, and you feel bad for the tank because you might be someone that's new to tanking, so they might not be pulling as large of packs as they, as most people are used to, so you have, like, the DPS pulling and then they like run up to the healer and they're like, heal me, heal me, heal me. Or I could not and let you die repeatedly and then laugh at you because that sounds like way more fun. I hate when people ask me to heal them. There's a difference in, you know, me healing a group because, you know, that's what I'm supposed to do and you running off and doing your own thing and almost dying and then running back with, you know, five mobs behind you going, heal me. Heal me. Heal me. No! Shut up! Please! Durr. But, um, yeah, I don't know what the point of this video was. It's just me ranting for ten minutes or something. But low level dungeons are just so frustrating. And I just feel bad for anyone that is new and going into these because this is what they're getting exposed to. Because you can start doing dungeons at level 15. That's when you can start queuing for them. Sorry, my hair is like really long and it keeps getting in the way. And, um, but yeah, they, they like get exposed to these people at low levels and if someone's like learning to tank and then people are cussing them out and they're only like level 22, like I feel bad for them and if, you know, maybe the healer can't really keep up with the rest of the group and, you know, they're trying to loot and they're trying to, you know, get their gear and get all this stuff and, and people just like leave them in the dust and then the tank dies and they're like, what the fuck, WTF heals. WTF, and they're just like, I was losing a body, like, there, you can see me in the map, it's really not that complicated, so I kind of, I don't know, I just wish people were nicer, I've, I know that's asking a lot, but I don't know, I always just assume everyone in the group is, I don't know, new, maybe, I don't know, I just, that was my rant of the day, low level dungeons suck, all dungeons suck. But I mean, it, it's, I think it's worse low level just because 
We have a lot of newer people, and, or potentially newer people, who are literally just starting the game, and they're getting exposed to people that are cussing at them and yelling at them and telling them that they're bad and they should kill themselves and delete their character and go outside or something. And it's so frustrating, but let me know of any of your horror low-level dungeon stories in the comment section below. I told you two of mine, I think, but there's just so many. I could probably do a video series on it. It's not even funny. Um, you can also see my Hobbit background. I watched the movie. I saw both of them, actually, not that long ago. Very good. Very good indeed. But I will talk to you guys later. Hope you're having a wonderful day, and goodbye. Oh, and I also have, let's go over the outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Hogwarts crush shirt, and then this um, Laura Croft necklace that my friend sent me. I need to get a longer chain for it, but anyway. So Look, mustache and mug. I love this thing, man. It's so funny. It smells good, too. Don't judge me. Got it on Valentine's Day. Isn't that funny? Like, who sells mustaches on Valentine's Day? Target. That, too. Thank <laughs> you.